So, we are less than a week away from FIFA 22. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. In today's video, I'm going to be going through everything that you need to know that you might have missed over the last few days regarding FIFA 22. This video includes dates, news and information and everything new that EA have announced recently for FIFA 22. Let's dive into it. Now, let's start off with dates. The important dates you need to know are the 22nd of September the 27th of September and the 1st of October. Now, on the 22nd of September, we will get the companion app, the web app, and the release of EA Play's 10-hour early access trial. Now, the early access trial is a it's not free. It's, I think, £4 a month, but it's a 10-hour um, early access trial. Everything you do on that 10-hour early access does carry over to the full game. It is essentially the game. It's just for a 10-hour limitation on console. Um, now, there were rumors that you can get an extra 10 hours if you've got next-gen console and old-gen console. I'm not sure if they're necessarily true or not. We'll see. Um, but that is the early access trial, and the web app and companion app usually comes out the same night. EA have said it will come out on the 22nd of September. On their pitch notes to kick off your uh, Foot 22 journey with a Foot Companion app launching for web on September 22nd and mobile on September 23rd, which is pretty ideal. Now, if you don't actually buy the game and you're one of the people that likes to play the game on the web app for the first couple of weeks, because there are people like that that may watch these videos, um, your uh, access to that will expire on the October 17th if you haven't bought the game by then and haven't logged in on console or PC or whatever con or whatever you know device you're on, really. Now, the EA Play Early Access drops on September 22nd. Like I said, it's the 10-hour Early Access. Um, to access this on PlayStation 5, just go to the store and then subscriptions and you'll find all games that you're able to play all the trials you get more than just fifa on ea play um it's actually a pretty cool app it's just like the other apps that other consoles do as well uh now if you're on previous consoles there's actually an app you can download called ea play and then you can go into the vault and find the game but you should be able to download it i would say at midnight on the 22nd in previous years it's come out the day before like a soft release at like 9 10 p.m the night before and in previous years it's also come out the night of so like instead of it being midnight on the 22nd it could be 10 p.m on the 22nd and you've got to wait all that time uh it's just what ea decide to do on the day it's different uh it, you know it's been different in previous years now if you pre-order the ultimate edition of fifa 22 you get four days early access so you get the full game without any hour limitations on the 27th of september instead of the first of october like the standard edition players get so you get the full game you get 4600 thief points you get dual entitlement you get a team of the week player you get a killing Mbappe Mbappe loan a foot and bastard loan player pick um and uh you get an untradeable ones to watch uh, player item from October 1st. So that's how the pre-order works if you get the Ultimate Edition. Now, if you've already pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition, you'll know if you did it before, I think it was August 11th, you actually get a free hero item as well. That comes on December 1st, uh, although heroes are in the game from the start of the game. Um, if you pre-order the Ultimate Edition now, you still get all of these uh, um, pre-order bonuses. Now, your 4,600 thief points will be on your account the first time you log in on console on the 27th. It won't be on the 10th hour early access you won't get your thief points then you'll get it on the 27th that's when everyone will get their 4,600 thief points if they pre-order the ultimate edition your uh wants to watch pack will be on the 1st of october when the first wants to watch team drops um and your team of the week item will be i think on the 27th as well or the first time you log into the console now what's awesome is ea on this pitch note announced the wants to watch pack is actually this year a player pick for the first year ever, which is amazing. I think, you know, even if it's one of three items, it's just a lot better than a pack because you get to choose the item that you get. Imagine you get a choice of like Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi. Like most people I'd hope would choose Ronaldo, but you never know. Um, but yeah, for the first time ever, it's going to be a player pick, which I just think boosts your chances of getting something decent. You may still get a player pick of three very bad ones to watches, but with this year's ones to watch, it's going to be some amazing players. Now, depending on when you open it will depend on what you get so the release days that are the ones to watch team one is going to be from the 1st of october to the 8th of october they're doing a ones to watch team one mini release now i can only imagine that maybe means from the third to the eighth we're getting like an extra couple of players then i'm not entirely sure so like the first 11 will be maybe like you know ronaldo and all those players and then maybe on the mini release we get like I don't know, why now them and Hakimi or something? Who knows? Like, we'll see. I think it'll be a few extra players there. Then Team 2, the first 11, is going to be October 
8th to the 13th, and then the mini release will be 10th to the 13th. So if you've got the willpower, save your wants to watch player pick until the 13th. That'll be when you, or, or sorry, October 10th, it, 13th makes no sense. October 10th, then you'll have every single wants to watch item you can possibly get in player picks for you to open so you can open that player pick um, and get every single wants to watch item on the game available otherwise if you open it on the first or the third you're only getting team one and the team one mini release so if if ronaldo's in team one i'm, I'm opening it straight away because that's the only player i want is ronaldo or maybe Varane or someone like that but you know if ronaldo's been saved for team two I might have to save my player pick, and that'll be the first team ever. Like that's that's me. Um, but yeah, so as you see, as you see in this table here, um, the ones to watch pre-order pack content, uh, as you can see, for the first to the third will be the ones to watch team one uh, first eleven only, and then from the third to the eighth will be ones to watch team one only, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's pretty interesting. Um, but if you've got the willpower. Make sure you guys uh, save your player pick. Something a lot of you guys have been asking me in the DMs on Twitter and whatnot, by the way, follow my social medias link in the description down below, uh, is will there be a FIFA point carryover? Yes, they will. There will be a FIFA point transfer or FIFA point carryover. If you have FIFA points on your FIFA 21 account, you will be able to one time uh, carry over those FIFA points onto FIFA 22. So what a lot of people do before the game is load up a bunch of FIFA points so that as soon as they get on the new game, they can just start opening packs straight away and playing drafts and whatnot. If you put them on your FIFA 21 account, yes, the carry over is a thing it's a thing every single year and you can carry them over to fifa 22 no hassle no drama no problem it's not the best uh photo ever but this is uh an image from last year um and this is basically what it looks like so you get prompted with a message and it says yes i want to transfer my fifa points no please leave it i'm not sure at this point please prompt me again later so yeah just make sure that you're a bit careful this is the one thing i will say just don't spam x to get into ultimate team whatever you do because i don't think ea will try transfer your thief points if you accidentally click no i've no idea they might I, I i've never heard of anyone accidentally clicking no and then getting the few points over though that's all i'm saying so make sure you're not spamming x the amount of people that i have had that have told me that they accidentally clicked no oh my word just don't do it just don't just just don't be that guy all right you're not that guy pal you're not that guy now please bear in mind this is only a prompt when you first log in on the console you cannot get your fifa points on the web app you never have been able to in the past you still can't it's not a thing you can't get your fifa points on the on the web app there's no way to purchase them there was rumors in the past that you could but you can't and also you might see like players playing it early pc get the full game a bit earlier than console um that's how a lot of people always ask how have these guys got the full game early well sometimes you know press and and uh certain people get the game early but also pc get the full game early as well i don't know why it just it's how ea have always released it now something i just wanted to share with you that's really cool is this brand new featured team of the week system so ea have said for players under 80 rated um that don't have wants to watches or path to glory or UCL Road to the Finals, etc. Um, they can be eligible for what is called a uh, featured team of the week item. Um, so essentially, they can get instead of getting you know the standard plus plus two boost, let's say for a team of the week, as you can see in this this image here. I don't know if it, I can get a HD version. I absolutely cannot. Uh, you can see Jude Bellingham going from a 79 to an 82. That'd be a, a standard team of the week boost. But a featured team of the week boost can get a 79 to like an 84, for example. And it's essentially a second inform. It's just a cool way of making certain players a bit more usable you don't want a 78 getting an 80 rated inform and him not being usable and it just being like SBC fodder EA want to try and make more players uh, incorporated into squads more players usable in squads so I think it's a cool way to do it there's a bunch of low rated cards like Sam Maximan and, and Greenwood and people like that that would be very interesting if they got a uh, high boost I think Renato Sanchez is the same like it'd be, just be really cool um, so I think it's a nice um, new feature I thought I would just include it now it's not going to be every single lower than 80 rated team of the week item it's only a few that ea decide um but then their next inform gets boosted based on the future team of the week so let's say jude bellingham gets an 84 featured team of the week then two weeks to three weeks later gets another inform that'll be an 86 because it's based on that feature team of the week so yeah i thought that'd be pretty cool it's cool for uh for like foot champs rewards and stuff like that as well um i thought i'd just share that with you as well i think it's i think it's a cool new system um and little feature like this i think is always just fun to add to the game i, I you know i don't see why not 
basically. I think just little things like this just make the game a bit cooler. Another thing I want to show you, share with you guys, I don't know when we're getting the full database. We might get it today, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure. But I want to share with you guys this website, Footmine. Now, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I'm not being paid to say this. I just think that this is really cool. They actually have the top 1,000 FIFA 21 players database and their confirmed in-game stats and ratings. So if we were to go to page 34, for example, if it was to load, uh, it will be a little bit slow. Bear in mind because they, they aren't used to this a lot of traffic on their site and they've, they've been struggling a little bit the last couple of days but um if you give it a little bit of time it should work and you've got basically a lot of confirmed ratings if you guys want to see them um you can also search for specific specific players for example i want to search for mason greenwood um i I don't know how to actually get to it on... I might not be able to do it on this, actually. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell, I've, I've used this website for a long time. Um, no, but you, you can, if you bear with it, you can see pretty much all of the um, all the ratings and their in-game stats as well, uh, which I think is really, really cool. Um, you know, it, it's available on our website, and I, I do like it. And like I said, they've got all the in-game stats as well. So as you can see, Ronaldo's in-game stats, he's been done dirty. 77 stamina, 77 strength for Ronaldo. Don't know. Uh, 74 agility, 86 balance, uh, 85 acceleration, 88 sprint speed uh 95 finishing good long shots obviously composure is 95 as well 88 dribbling in game like you can see all the in-game stats and whatnot he's got five star skills and four star weak foot high medium work rates as well which i just think yeah so if you guys want to play around with that have a look at some players that maybe you haven't seen yet and you've been looking for your favorite team's players whatnot make sure to check out this website it's called footmind.com um and then just click on the fifa 22 players and you'll just get a list of all the all the highest rated players from high to low basically so and then you just go page to page and just see other rated players cavani's 85 for example Varane's 86 martinez 85 griezmann's 85 just some ratings you might not have seen before and i think it'll get you hyped for the release of fifa 22 which i'm also really excited for small thing about foot heroes um they're gonna be in the game from the start our free foot heroes pack for pre-order before august 11th will be on december 1st uh, and also apparently there could be uh extra versions of these cards um they said um the there may be additional versions made available as part of select foot 22 campaigns which i just thought it was interesting thought i'd share with you and also if you didn't already know uh the new icons we have are kafu cassias van Persie, and a mystery fourth icon i've no idea when you're going to announce it but it, rumors are it's wayne rooney could be Di Stefano. Those two, I think, are the two that people think is going to be Wayne Rooney or Di Stefano. Um, I'd love a Wayne Rooney. That'd be pretty sick. Uh, although I can't see them. I mean, they, in the promos, they've been making Van Persie out like a massive Arsenal icon, but I think he's also a Man United icon. I don't know if they do two Man United icons. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much everything you need to know. Uh, if you want to check everything else out, uh, we've got uh, a foot 22 pitch notes um it'll be on ea's um twitter account you can go find that at ea sports fifa i recommend going check that out you've got a little a few things i haven't touched upon like for example preview packs um you know the pre premium gold packs will be able available this sort of stuff you get to see little things that maybe you haven't seen already uh if you want to go and have a look at it but yeah pretty much this is all available um on the ea.com website or on ea's twitter the pitch notes i recommend going and checking it out so thank you all for watching thank you all for the support in the videos make sure to leave a like if you guys do enjoy and i'll see you later